How to succeed in medieval medical practices without really trying. Step one, jump on the bandwagon. In times of disease and plague, you may notice a bit of a supply and demand issue. Too many patients, not enough doctors. It is, however, an opportunity for profit for an enterprising, intelligent young man. I said enterprising. and intelligent. There we go. Step two, acquire qualifications. Our young doctor will study under the finest instructors in Paris. Or stretching the truth works too. His patients are illiterate and won't know the difference. Step three. Focus on profit. Disregard all moral compass and compassion. I never had any anyway. Now that's a recipe for success. Step four. Wear an intimidating plague mask. No one will take you seriously without one. If you can't afford a new mask, try buying used and save the difference. It's not like the former owner died of anything catching. Step five, find assistants. They will do most of the dirty work and are much more likely to die for it. By sending assistants, you minimize your personal risk and underpaying them will maximize your income. Hey kid, wanna be my assistant? Is it safe? Well, I wouldn't not tell you if it were not safe, by which I don't mean it isn't. Not entirely safe with no chance of not dying. So I suppose you could say I would never not put you in no danger whatsoever, if you know what I mean. It's a deal. Step six, find a patient. They aren't hard to come by. Look for the ones who exhibit symptoms like profuse vomiting, <laughs> moaning in pain, <coughs> oh. bloody coughing, <coughs> delirium, I'm Batman, and visible pustules. That was not in my contract. Now that you've acquired a patient, move on to step seven and examine her horoscope in the hopes of a diagnosis. According to 17, a Virgo is going to run into her ex this month and there's going to be serious tension. Well, Teen Vogue says that a Virgo should wear red lipstick on the 18th. This isn't helping. Step eight, dispose of the patient's dead body because one way or another they will die from the disease or maybe your treatments. The body may need to be buried to prevent further spread of infection, or it can be stored to be hurled into enemy cities during a siege. Go. I am I'm Harry Potter! Harry Potter! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hysterical.